Hello, my name's Fran Sands and welcome to myboxingcoach.com. Um, should say something about my surroundings. Still filming from a building site, basically. Uh, this is our boxing club and we are have long been going through renovations, but we're going to be bigger and better eventually. Um, so excuse the poor state of the uh, of the filming environment. However, hopefully you're still going to, you've still got some really good stuff to learn today. Five of the best three punch combinations. What I think are the best three punch combinations, um, and these are things that you can implement right now. And we go through prepared attacks, unprepared attacks, and we use straight shots, hooks, and uppercuts. All really nice and straightforward, nice and simple. We don't overcomplicate things, but it works really well. Um, before we get started. Why don't you join the thousands of others who've downloaded their book, The Beginner Boxer Toolkit? Um, you get 64 pages packed full of information from how to develop your top 10 core skills, building the right mindset, how to set up your training regime, building your own home gym, um, speed, how to build power, all kinds of stuff in there that will really set you on the path for your boxing journey, uh, whether you're in this for fitness like most, or for competition. Okay, let's get on. We're gonna work through five simple combinations, um, but I know there's gonna be something in here that you that you pick up on and that you can use. Uh, so combination number one is jab, jab, hook. Nice and simple. One, two, three. Two from that way. One, two, three. And from that way, one, two, three. Now, how long should there be between each punch? When does it stop being a combination and start just being three separate punches? So if I do that, one, two, are they both part of the same combination? I guess is what I'm saying. Now here's the key with this one. There's lots of variations you can do with this. Simple one. The reason we do it, throw the first jab, throw the second jab, go to throw the third jab, but turn it into a hook. Now, you're not going to knock anyone out with this, but there's no rule that says every punch you throw, you need to, you know, leave death and destruction in your wake. Many punches are about control, or about managing the ring, or about managing the opponent. So get into the habit of varying the speed and the power of your punches. Don't feel the need to try, and it's actually one of the things that novice boxers get themselves in trouble with. They just try and kill the world with every single punch. Well, slow down, you know, control, manage the shots that you throw. But you can throw the first one, throw the second one, and, and, and right away the opponent's going into defence mode. When you throw that third one and they go to block it, leave a tiny opening, you just turn it into a hook. But you can do it, you know, one, two, three. That's a very different dynamic than going one, two, three. You know, the, the delay in between the shots. And of course, you don't have to turn it into a hook. You can turn it into a, another angle of jab. So you go one, two, three. Yeah? One, two, three. Yeah? It's all kinds of variations you can do. Think that through. Time delay between each shot and what shot you use last. Very cool way of, of thinking about um, combinations. Combination number two, and this is a sim simple, straightforward, aggressive, unprepared attack. What do I mean by unprepared? Well, I'm not doing any feints to trigger the opponent or to set the attack up. It's just straightforward, bang on aggression. And all we're doing, start with the backhand, backhand, lead, lead leg goes forward, lead hand, backhand. Ready? One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Right, I'll show you from a quick one from the side. You know, yeah. One, two, three. And from that side, mm -hmm. um, 
Starting with the backhand, full on aggression. Lead leg takes a step forward, one, full extension, two, three. This is just straight line down the middle, aggressive attack, unprepared. Nice to do these things every now and again, right? Intensity can work very well, full on aggression, especially early on. So when you're on the heavy bag of your door shadow boxing, always start fast. You know, stamp your authority in your own mind. Get your authority stamped. Get ready, you know, lay it out. Same is true in the boxing ring. You know, so important to win those early engagements, to be the boss. Unprepared attacks, hyper aggression, really good at doing that. That's combination number two, straight line attack. Combination number three, jab lay back. Oh, sorry, jab, backhand, lay back, backhand. Let me buy that. So it's one, two, three, four. From that side. And from that side. Okay. Opponents throwing punches back. It's not like the movies. Most of the time when you punch someone, they're going to throw a punch straight back. Right? You know, that's the nature of fighting other trained people. When you throw punches at them, when you hit them, they, they're going to hit you straight back. So that one too. Make it the best it can be. One, no elbow flare. Rotate. Jab onto the target. Drive off the back leg. Full hip rotation straight down the middle. And then we fall back onto our rear leg. One, two. What we don't do is go one, two. Right? Don't want this. One, two. And we're only dropping back. Look what happens with the leg. Look how my head drops back slightly. Small margins. But that one, two, as the opponent throws one back, you'll lay back. And stay shot fall short. And then you've, one, two, you've built up energy in this leg to really drive that final shot. So it's one, two, three. Big, big uh, counter punch. Combination number three. Combination number four. A faint jab body, backhand head, left hook head. Simple as that. I saw this one, I always thought Oscar De La Hoya was amazing. I'm doing this stuff. I first heard of Oscar De La Hoya on a pal of mine from this boxing club went to the Finland Tama tournament. I think it was in, I think De La Hoya must have been 16. So it's two years before he, he boxed in Barcelona. He was there with the Golden Gloves team, uh, all the Golden Gloves champions from the States. And he won, he, he won that competition. Smashed a, um, you know, at the age of 16, smashed a, a Russian, top Russian in the final. But what I liked about De La Hoya, he was a real thinking man's boxer, you know, he's exciting, but the jab to the body, so I'll show it. Think the jab to the body, so drop down, bring the jab to the head, backhand head, left hook head. So what you've got is... Messed that one up. And from that side... On that side. So sell that thing to the body. You want the opponent to either come back slightly, drop the hands maybe to do a block, diversionary attack, set up with the jab to the body, backhand head, left hook head. Fantastic. And it's it's sort of you know it's the same principle as almost as the um um, the jab, jab, hook. You, you, you're setting up diversions. You're setting up traps. Okay, the final one. Um, and this is... The uppercut is the most high-risk shot and the most technically difficult shot to master. So... This is another feint. So it's another prepared attack, just like number three. 
the sorry combination for the one we just done. So show the feint, feint the jab, backhand uppercut, lead hand hook, backhand hook. So what you get is from the side. And from the other side. Okay, with that uppercut, make the jab. That uppercut, your hip, you drive off the rear leg, your hip has to go round and up because anything that lands off vertical, I don't consider an uppercut. So that's not an uppercut. It's a hook. Uppercut. The forearm lands on a vertical plane. So in order to accommodate that, really get that hip round and up. That lifts the head, left hook, right hook. This is no nonsense now. If the first combination, jab, jab, hook, was intended to control an opponent, this combination is intended to hurt an opponent. It's straightforward, high power shots, fame with the jab to trigger, uppercut, hook, hook, bang, bang, bang. Three punch combos. You know, you can vary them up. Some people get too caught up in thinking of combinations as four, five, six, seven punches, you know, like machine gun things. Just don't. Join two, three punch combinations together and put a defense in the middle of them. So three shots, defend, three shots. Three shots, movements, three shots. You've got a six punch combination where you are building in defensive stoppers along the way. It's worth doing. Okay. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget, click the link down below. Um, you've been a beginner boxer toolkit book. Otherwise, my name is Franz Sands. It's mypoxingcoach.com.